Hello there. I did have a video planned for the day, however the processing of it is going to take absolute literal hours. It's done, all we need to do is just edit it. But this is a substitute video, which was going to be the next day, but still may contain valuable information about things that will happen in the next video. I want to talk to you briefly about LED polarity and also of some common components, because like me, you may be about to do some stuff with electronics, maybe you haven't before, and it might help some people to learn these basic rules and you'll be more informed when you attempt it. So the first thing I want to talk about is LED polarity. That's these little things right here. This is a through hole LED, meaning it just goes through holes and gets soldered from the other end of the circuit board. The thing to remember about polarity here is that the anode, or the positive lead, is always the longest. The cathode is the negative lead and will of course be the shorter one. This can be seen a little clearer in this diagram where you can also see a flat spot on the cathode end. There are also SMD LEDs which are surface mount which have their own indications. In this case the cathode is denoted by an octave corner or notch, or on the underside the heatsink is being slightly offset. However there might be other indications too as some of them have a little shape, an arrow or some other kind of notch underneath which point to the cathode. That's one thing to remember, they always point towards the negative end. It's always important to remember to put them in the right way, as diodes only let current flow one way. This is in contrast to resistors which have no polarity so you can put them in any direction. One other thing that's important to know about is capacitors. While you might have some capacitors, like ceramic or thin film, like the one here, which don't have polarity, you also have electrolytic capacitors which do have polarity, and in this case they're denoted by a stripe. This corresponds typically with an indication on the silk screen of a flattened off end. Match it up with that. I'd also like to make a mention of an application called ElectroDock. I've had this for quite a while and it's on Android, no idea whether it's on iOS or not. But basically this is really handy if you're into elect electronics. It's got things like LED resistor calculators, information about resistor colour codes, and much more. Also pinouts for common connections, like for example this jack connector. In general it's really really useful so I definitely recommend this, and if you go pro it means you have no restrictions and, more importantly, no ads. So I hope this little crash course in common components is going to help. Um, definitely in the next project, which is supposed to be this one, we will be looking into that. It's very important to get it right or things just don't work. Well that's it for now, have a good one.